it's time for us to of course spice the show up this morning with some entertainment and we are bringing to you the daddy of entertainment dandy ah uh ah -uh. sam dandy their daddy the how daddy are you doing i like your <laughs> color very well thank you how are you doing doing fantastic nice oh, outfit by the way the color looks good thank you thank you also don't worry you look good too uh, well, I mean, I've, I've it. gotten used to it, you know, <laughs> getting ignored. I'm used to it. It's okay. Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. All right, what's going on, man? Entertainment news across Africa. It seems like there's, there's you know, really, really hot stories uh, this morning. There definitely is. I'm going to start with this one, right? An East African writer has just won big in London. Kenyan writer Isa Luminio has just been awarded the 2022 Akko Kane Prize for African writing for her short story, Five years next Sunday, the prolific writer took home 10,000 euros, approximately 1.4 million Kenyan shillings, having beaten 267 eligible entries in a record year of submissions. Now, five years next Sunday, which had also won the 2021 Short Story Day Africa Prize, is a story about a young woman with the unique power to call the rain into her hair. Feared by her family and community, a chance encounter with a foreign, foreigner changes her fortunes but there are duplicitous designs upon her most prized and vulnerable possession. Now, Lumiyo becomes the fifth Kenyan writer to win the award after Biyavana Wainana won in 20, 2002, I beg your pardon, Yvonne War won in 2003, and Okri Udor and Mekenya Onjerika won 2014 and 2018, respectively. She was announced the winner by O.K. Dibe, who is the chairperson of the 2022 Akko Kane Prize judging panel at an award ceremony that was held at London's Victoria and Albert Museum. I mean, I'm super proud of her. I mean, Kenya to the world. Talking about it, it's the fifth, so that is big. But let's talk about this one. Let's go to West Africa. Now, just over the past weekend, Ghanaian musician Black Sherry performed with African giant Burna Boy for the first time out of the continent. Now, the 20-year-old Ghanaian star has just been endorsed by multi-award winning music producer DJ Khaled. The American DJ, record executive, and author posted a minute-long video clip of Black Sherry's performing the monster hit song, Kwaku the Traveler. Along with the Instagram post, he shared the caption, Keep going, music that touches your soul. Now, this was to his almost 30 million Instagram followers. This has further exposed a Ghanaian youngster to more international love, as that post even got the attention of another ace American record producer, Timbaland, who commented and said, So hard. Now born in Konongo, Ghana, Black Sheriff has indeed come a long way since his breakthrough hit, Black Sermon, dropped this time last year, scooping several awards. His 2022 hit, Kweku the Traveler, is following in the same path, even reaching number one on Ghanaian and Nigerian Apple Music charts. In barely, six, in barely three months since its release, the single has traveled far for its message, groundbreaking performance, and rich music video. While some speculate that this endorsement with DJ Khaled could hint at a possible collaboration, there is no confirmation from any of the stars. Truthfully, the world is still waiting for DJ Khaled's upcoming album though, titled God Did. Without any confirmed date for its release, fans can neither confirm the track list or the possible guest who's going to be on this 13th studio album. I guess we'll all have to wait. But right now, let's join the rest of the world in appreciating the hit song, Koiku the Traveler. Let's watch this. I can't help but sing along to that song. It was an incredible performance too. Everyone seemed to be thrilled that water was pouring on him. But our final story for today on the international scene, there's great news for fans of Canadian platinum selling musician Justin Bieber. As a multiple award winning singer is set to resume world tour, having battled some health challenges. Now, just a few hours ago, his representative told Variety that the stars of Justice World Tour will resume the 31st of this month. Recall that several North American dates were cancelled last month due to Justin Bieber's recent Ramsey Hunt diagnosis. Now, the singer, in fact, had posted a video assuring fans. He said this, I wish this wasn't the case, but obviously, my body is telling me I have to slow down. I hope you guys understand, and I'll be using this time to just rest and relax and get back to 100% so I can do what I was born to do. Now, we're certainly happy for Justin's development. He's always been a true lover of his fans. He had even made several updates, you know, on telling us about his wealth, uh, health, 
uh, on socials. Now, it's believed that the illness could cause a painful shingles rash, facial paralysis, and hearing damage in the affected ear. Now, Justin's tour, which had 75 scheduled dates, will continue in Italy with a performance at the Lucas Summer Festival. He will then have five more dates in Europe before heading to South America in September. The tour will also have stops in South Africa, the Middle East, Asia, Australia, and New Zealand before heading back to Europe in December. Now, although at this time we cannot confirm the rescheduled dates for the North American part of the tour, we're positive the Bieber's team is certainly on it and will communicate as such. Now, that's the much we can take on entertainment. I'm super happy for Justin Bieber for sure. But what did you guys think about uh, Quake with the Traveler? Have you heard that song? Do you like it? Oh, I totally love it. You know, we, we you know, we're just talking, you know, <laughs> <laughs> talking about, you know, the endorsement of uh, the likes of DJ Khaled and, you know, Timberland and, you know, international celebrities, you know, and how um, we, a lot of times, you know, we look forward to things like that. You know, mm. we, we do all these like, oh, Alicia Keys, you know, listening to a Whiskey song, <laughs> True. you know, or, oh, you know, look at these, you know, American basketballer. I think I saw some, something about Virgil, Virgil van Dijk or so yesterday listen to a song by Omar Lee and everyone was just excited like, oh, wow. you know, so, <laughs> you know, so, good. so it might feel good, you know, but I don't know how much longer we're going to be there, you know, and, mm. and, you know, really just salivate when things like that happen. I mean, you make a good point. I'm just hoping that, you know, this endorsement goes to actual work. You know, we've seen future Drake work with Thames. We see people collaborate. Yeah. So it'll be good to see, you know, uh, Black Sheriff and uh, no DJ Khaled, for sure. I mean, African music is taking over the world by a storm. Everyone's jumping on Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. And I find that a lot of these artists, yes, they're well established in the, around the world, but they want to work with African artists because there's a whole market in Africa. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the time, it opens a new dimension to their music and to their career path once they collaborate with an African artist because we are loyal, we are hardcore loyal. Mm -hmm. Once we know that, oh, this person is you know, doing a song, when, when uh, uh, Drake... Was it no Chris Brown? Mm -hmm. No, sorry, who did the song with Thames? Future Drake. and Drake. Yeah. See the way the whole of Nigeria, the whole yeah. of Africa, the, right. we're streaming the song. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we, we, we're proud of ourselves and we're proud of our African artists and the work that they're putting in. So if, if they like, they should not comment or like it. We're doing really great. But I'd like to say um, I'm very happy for Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. It was quite scary to see when uh, he put out that video talking about his face being partially mm -hmm. paralyzed. He couldn't blink one eye. It was quite scary. I'm glad that he's back on his feet and ready to take over the world by storm. Some girl was looking at his photo like, when did he become so old? I'm like, yo, that's your reminder that you're getting old. Because we all grew up with Justin Bieber and all of a sudden he's looking like a man. We knew Justin Bieber as a yeah. boy. Now he's a man-man. He looks like some, some character in a, in a TV series. You know, doesn't look like Justin Bieber. Yeah, it's, I mean, it just reminds us that we're all, we're all aging. Absolutely. I don't, and thank, I, thankfully, thank God he's aging beautifully. I don't know about you, but I'm forever 19, okay? I'm forever 19. Well, I agree way. with you on that note. I am I identify as 22 years old, too. I love it. <laughs> and also, Eddie, Eddie, are you sticking with your age? My body, you know, might not agree. You know, I try. I want to identify as a 25-year-old, but when I hit the gym yesterday, man. You know you are you not know, 25. I, I knew that you know, I wasn't 25. I don't have the 25-year-old energy, mm -hmm. you know, so. Yeah. So, nah. It's okay. <laughs> anyway. All right. Thank you, Sam Dandy, for joining us with entertainment. We always love having you around. We love we the energy that you bring to entertainment. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.